What's up guys, thanks for joining me. This is another edition of the Whiteboard Breakdown. This one is for May 12th. So today you will need a jump rope, a dumbbell, and a barbell. Uh, we can uh, adjust if we do not have a barbell, and we can roll with just a dumbbell or kettlebell here. Uh, to start off with our warm up, we have three rounds. First starting off with 25 double unders. If we do have three rounds, so if we don't feel comfortable yet with double unders, just knock out 25 to 50 singles. Just getting the body moving, getting the blood flowing a little bit. Next we have 10 glute bridges. So on our back, pushing through our heels, squeezing our glutes, knocking out 10, just getting our glutes nice and active. Right after that, we have five squat jumps. Again, we have three total rounds. So if this round, we just wanna knock out some squats and get our ankles, knees, and hips ready to roll, you can. And on the second time through, we can hit those squat jumps. Then we have single arm presses. So we're just gonna pick up that weight, knock out five presses on each side. If we don't have a lighter weight for our first round, then we can just rock an odd object or something just to get that range of motion working. Uh, after we finish our first round, again, we'll go th through two more for three total rounds. Uh, then we're gonna move on to our accessory work. We need a little arm pump in today. Just like our warm up here, we have three rounds. First one, we're gonna be doing rows. So you have a few different options for your row. We can either do a bent over row. From here, rowing my elbow to the bottom of my rib cage. I'm gonna do uh, my nine, uh, and sorry, it's gonna be a tempo. So as I row, I'm gonna go nice and slow and controlled on the way back down, okay? So with that bent over row, that's gonna be more core. So I can always use my elbow on my knee just for a little bit more control, or if I want to put my hand on a bench or a box for a little bit more control, uh, you can do that as well. Then you have 21 good mornings. So with a good morning, so if you have a barbell, that will just go on the top of our back. We're just hinging our, hinging our hips and then standing that weight back up. If we have some, don't have anything that's light enough for this, we can also turn this into an RDL as well. So it's just a light bend of the knees, hinging the hips back. With the RDL, it's gonna be a little bit more hamstring. If we can get into that good morning position, it'll be a little bit more of that low back. Uh, then we're gonna do our nine rows on the opposite side. So if we start on the right, we'll do our left side, and then finishing off with 21 band pull parts. So if we do have a small resistance band, we're just gonna pinch those shoulder blades together and then return the hands back in front. If we don't have a resistance band, you can take two small uh, objects or if you have like a five pound plates or dumbbells, we're just gonna do reverse flies. 21 total reps here, pretty much a burnout rep, uh, reps with some light weight. After we finish the first round again, two more rounds for a total of three. Now moving on to our Metcon for the day. So our Metcon has five rounds. We have three minutes each round, and how the rounds are broken up are three minute AMRAP, then you get a, a minute rest in between each one of these rounds. So that three minutes, we're pushing uh, the pace to see how many rounds we can get, and we'll record each round. So then by the end of the five rounds, we'll add up all of those rounds that we did so we'll be able to get our score. So in that three minutes, we're gonna be AMRAPing 60 double unders, 20 jumping lunges, you do not count those two, and then max rounds of three power cleans, three front squats, and three shoulder to the overhead. Once you get one round, continue to go right back to the power cleans, front squat, shoulder to overhead, power cleans, front squat, shoulder to overhead, keep am wrapping that scene and how many rounds you can get of that in the remainder of the three minutes that you have left after you finish your double unders and jumping lunges. So for our double unders, if we do not have double unders, we can double the number for single, so 120, or we can do those seal jacks so as a double under replacement if we don't have a rope. And then our jumping lunge, it's step back and then switch midair. And if we don't have jumping lunges, you can just do a step back, just make sure we get uh, 10 and 10. Uh, for our um, power cleans, front squats, and shoulder overhead, we can either do uh, two dumbbells or kettlebells, a barbell, or if we have a 
just a single bell. We'll do one round on our right, switch sides, other round on our left. So I only have one bell with me, so I'll demo that. So we have our power clean, starting from the ground into that power position, back down to the ground. After I finish my three, I go into three front squats. After I finish my third front squat, I keep that weight in my shoulder, dip and drive from my shoulder to overhead. You can do a strict press here. You can do a jerk here as well. Just gotta get it from my shoulder to overhead. Then I would switch arms and then I would do my power cleans all on my left, front squats, shoulder to overhead. Okay guys, have fun with this one.